Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I wanted to go over the whereabouts of one of the most iconic characters in the Jurassic Park franchise. Now, during the events of JP3, Dr. Alan Grant was, of course, tricked into coming over to Isla Sorna in order to help a divorced couple find their lost son. During his stay on the second island, he encounters many new threats that are far different from what he'd seen on Isla Nublar eight years prior. These include a new, slightly feathered tribe of Velociraptor and a mysterious dinosaur identified as the Spinosaurus, which interestingly was not something that Engine had ever let anyone know that they'd cloned. Oddly enough, after he successfully gets off of Site B, we don't really hear much of anything from the old paleontologist. And due to the fact that rumors are steadily brewing that both he and his one-time girlfriend Dr. Ellie Sattler will be returning to Jurassic World 3, I thought it'd be a good idea to brush up on what exactly happened to Grant after the events of the third film. So Grant's adventure on Isla Sorna ends with the arrival of the United States Navy and Marines. The rescuers were luckily able to locate and save Billy Brennan after his terrible encounter with the Pteranodons, and the rest of the survivors were able to be flown back to the U.S. by request of Dr. Sattler's husband, Mark Degler. This isn't where their experiences together would just stop altogether, though. Once Dr. Grant got back to the States, he, along with Paul, Amanda, and Eric Kirby, explained to the authorities what happened to them on Site B. Amongst the many things that the paleontologist would go over, the most concerning thing he had to report was the strange appearance of previously unknown dinosaur species. You see, when the Tyrannosaur bull rampaged through San Diego in 97, InGen was revealed to have cloned dinosaurs on a faraway Costa Rican island. This revelation eventually led to the company being forced to reveal all records of the extinct dinosaurs that they'd cloned during their work on Los Cinco Mortes. However, Grant and the others would become eyewitnesses to other species that they hadn't revealed to anyone before. Unfortunately, it turns out that in 2001, not that many people believed Alan Grant and the Kirby's at all. And despite the fact that creatures like the Spinosaurus and Ceratosaurus were easily identifiable animals to any paleontologist, the public just wouldn't pay much attention to this new information. Now, the reason this didn't catch on until much later happens to be because of some really sketchy behavior on behalf of the genetics company. Many years later, after the disastrous Indominus escape at Jurassic World, new details surrounding Mizrani Global would leak out to the general public. And amongst these new reports happened to be the old testimonies that Dr. Grant and the others gave about Site B's new dinosaurs in 2001. It turns out that just like Dr. Malcolm before him, Alan Grant and the others would have their claims covered up in a false narrative. The information on the existence of the Spinosaurus and other illegally cloned animals was promptly buried in 2001 by government officials who were proven to have been bribed by the genetics company. Much like what happened to Ian Malcolm after the events of Jurassic Park, Alan Grant would have his experiences swept under the rug and lied about to the general public. Unlike Dr. Malcolm, we actually don't know what happened to Grant after that. Ian's career was actually ruined by Peter Ludlow before the events of The Lost World. But as far as we know in 2019, nothing of the sort has really come to pass for Dr. Grant. In fact, the new information on Grant and the Kirby's testimony being covered up and shot down by the company is the last bit of information we've gotten on the paleontologist. This leads the door open to several possibilities that could be explored in Jurassic World 3 if something serious really happened to him. For all we know, Grant may have had a nice life of celebrity-like fame after his time on Site B, and he possibly may not even care that much about his reports being lied about by InGen whatsoever. We do have to remember that he did kind of keep quiet after the original Jurassic Park. And maybe after seeing what happened to Malcolm when he tried to expose the truth of InGen to the world, he may have chosen to be rather cautious about what he says and how he says it. Or, it could have gone the other way, and Grant may have become fed up with the lies and continued telling the world that there was a Spinosaurus on Isla Sorna. If he did this, who knows what the world would think of these unsubstantiated claims. The bottom line is that after Grant got off of Site B, his reports to the government were quickly covered up, and we haven't heard much of him since. Personally, I think Grant may still be living the quiet life out in Montana somewhere, possibly doing further research on raptors and their fascinating levels of intelligence. I don't have any proof to back this up though because none really exists. And until we get some new information on the paleontologist, we won't really know the truth. 
But what about all of you guys? What do you think Alan Grant has been up to since 2001? Is he still digging up bones and staying away from dinos? Or do you think something else may have come up in his life? Whatever your thoughts, opinions, and theories may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Sparrow, Strider, and Zach Miller. Words can't really express how awesome it is to have you guys tell me how much you enjoy the stuff I do. And seriously, I am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. Honestly, it means the world. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I would appreciate the like, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always... Take it easy.